So, like the last calculation problem, what, what uh, you should do is write down the equation first. And we already worked out those equations. The next thing you're going to want to do is convert your units. So this is 350 times e to negative 9. This is 423. Um, e to the ninth. Uh, this is 12e to the negative second. And what is that? Um, e to the 18th. Uh, and then the next thing you're going to want to do so this is in meters, this is in hertz, this is in meters, this is in hertz. Um, C is going to be 3 e to the 8 meters per second. So, this one uses this equation down here, and we just plug it in. 6.6, 3 e to the negative 34th, um, so Planck's constant, so joules. Second, um, times second, and then I'm going to multiply it by c, which is three e to the eight meters per second. Seconds cancel over three hundred and fifty e to the negative ninth meters. Meters cancel, so a is. Five, six, eight e to the negative nineteenth. Um, B is equal to six point six three e to the negative thirty fourth joules. Um, joules per second times uh, four hundred and twenty three e to the ninth hertz. Um, e. So E is equal to 2.80 E to the negative 22nd joules. Um, C is meters again, so it's 6.63 e to the negative 34 um, joules per second times 3 e to the 8 meters per second. All this over 12 e to the negative second meters. So e is equal to. 1.66 joules. Um, and then D, it's the units that I've never seen in my entire life. E is equal to 6.63 E to the negative 34th joules per second, where this is a frequency, so we just plug it into the top equation. So it's multiplied by 1.15 E to the 18th hertz. So E is equal to 7.62 E to the negative 18.